Hey guys, it's Mark from Two Dog RC. I'm gonna show you a little safety, I guess, wiring for your Diet Tone Tyrant. Uh, I'm gonna start here on this 150 to show you basically. But what I'm gonna do is, it's really a better idea to have your 12 volt power supply power your video transmitter. So I'm gonna show you how to take it off of the plug that it's in now, which is getting battery power, which could be anything from 3S to 4S and put it on a 12 volt regulator that's provided in your ship. This right here is the Tyrant 150. I'm just gonna show you this, then we're gonna to switch to the 180. It works in either ship. So first you take your antenna off, or if it wasn't on there, you're good to go. Then take off these four screws. And that's gonna open up your little canopy here. This, this won't take long, it requires basic soldering. And I'll give you two little tips here you're going to need flux solder and soldering iron that's it and maybe some wire snips so this box comes off now you've got your video transmitter and this wire right here which is going to plug into your board so what I'm going to do is see in this one it plugs in right here right here so you got three wires and you got three wires those three wires are Positive, negative, signal. Positive, negative, signal. Okay, so just for ease, I'm just gonna leave this plugged into the um, video transmitter. I'm gonna unplug this one from the board. Now again, this will work. So you won't really work on the uh, 150 because it doesn't have a 12 volt regulator. This one's only got a five volt regulator, but you're probably not, you're not gonna run 4S in this ship, plus they're redoing this one. So. Just kind of disregard this, but it's basically the same principle. Now, here's a Tyrant 180. This is kind of my uh, test ship. So I've kind of got it apart, messing with it. Uh, this was used also to make the video of how to plug in controllable lights, as you can see there. So basically, on this ship, your video transmitter is coming off of this port right here. See, it's gonna go this way. It come, it's sitting right here, same wire, and you pull it off. And on this one, you can see it's labeled uh, VC. You know, I'll turn this one, and you can see real well. VCC, which means battery voltage. Whatever your battery is, that's what it's going to be. Ground, video, and audio. Then, so basically what we're going to do is we want this to be 12 volt regulated instead of whatever battery. This will help reduce spikes, clean up your video and everything. So what you can do is you want to leave your video pin in there, the third, the yellow pin, because that's that's not going to change. But you can take an X-Acto knife and just pop up these little plastic tabs right here in this connector. So you see there's, you just kind of put your knife underneath there and pull up. It works when you have a good X-Acto knife. This one's points kind of dumb. There we go. That's out. And then it kind of just close that plastic in. Same thing this one, just pop it up, pull it out. And you're gonna want the positive and ground out. There we go. Okay, so now if I plug this plug back in, the only thing that's going back into that port is your video signal, which is good. Now, you've got your positive and negative, okay? very you've got two different ways to do it we want 12 volts right there's two spots on this board at least two spots you can get 12 volts let's turn this way again so right here's where we took the wire out right next door to it right here you see 12 volt and ground those two pads are very close together you can solder there just be careful and then check it or if you want it easier look at these pads right here see negative and positive right here these big solder blobs that's a lot easier to solder and a lot harder to mess up. So all you're gonna do is solder the negative, goes on the negative, and the positive, the red wire, is gonna go on the positive. You're gonna have to clip these tips, clip the ends, and then um, put, you know, tin the wire and put the positive on the right negative and you're just going to solder them right like this then you plug this back into here 
like so. These will be soldered here, negative, positive, and now you're gonna get 12 volts out to your video transmitter. Now whenever you're doing soldering, you always wanna check continuity when you're done. You don't wanna test that with your battery. So, what you do is you take your multimeter, put it on 20K, right down there. Take your connectors, Positive, let's see, let's see if I can do this on the same screen. Positive, negative, and it should start counting up from zero. Look at that. So it's it's not, there's no shorts. If there was a short, it looked like this. There, that's a short. That means you've got a short somewhere. If you do, don't plug your battery in, double check your wiring. So that's how you check continuity. And that's how you put 12 uh, regulated 12 volt power supply into your video transmitter. And you just close it back up and you're good to go.